Well, for women at risk for a preterm birth, any sign of labor pains early in the pregnancy can be frightening. Well, now, as Kimberly Van Scoy shows us tonight, there is a new test to let them know if that's the real deal or not. Lene Stone has her hands full these days with one-year-old twin boys, Connor and Reagan. The boys are healthy and always on the go. She's thankful because her pregnancy was frightening at times. At 23 weeks, um, I began to experience um, contractions with the twins and um, was admitted to Forsyth Medical Center. She knew babies delivered at 23 weeks would struggle to survive. That was terrifying, and especially with twins, we knew that our risk was much higher. But when her doctor, A.J. Lewis, did a test called fetal fibronectin, he determined her labor pains were false. Fetal fibronectin is a test that can predict preterm labor risk for a pregnant woman. Uh, it was developed in an effort to figure out who is at risk to go into preterm labor and who we need to be more worried about and who we don't need to be as worried about. Fetal fibronectin is a protein produced by fetal cells. If the test is positive, it means a woman is about to deliver. A false reading means she won't. If a woman comes into our office or into the hospital, is complaining of contractions or pain, then we can do the simple test, have the results within an hour, and let her know, you're fine, you're probably not going to go into labor in the next two weeks, just go home and, and lead your normal life. Because Stone's contractions were so frequent, Dr. Lewis gave her the test every two weeks until she delivered. She was a, a very high-risk mom with twins uh, and had had preterm labor in the, with her previous pregnancy when she just had one baby, and so we decided doing those on a regular basis would be worthwhile. And worthwhile it was. Connor and Reagan arrived at 37 weeks in perfect health. These guys are great. They are healthy and active and running around. You have your hands full. <laughs> we have our hands full, but it's worth it. Kimberly Van Scoy, WXII 12 News. And for more information, you can check out our health section on WXII12.com.